Hey everyone, this is Shay Walker from All Garage Floors, and today we're going to talk about rock solid versus the epoxy shield garage floor coatings. These are both Rust Oleum products, they're very popular DIY products at that. Not only are we going to tell you what the primary differences are between these two coatings, we're going to tell you which one we think is the better performer. We're also going to tell you what the most common complaints are with both of these coatings. And in addition, we're going to tell you how to extend the life of these coatings for more durability and better performance. Lastly, we're going to tell you where you can purchase them for the best price. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so we can update you with more videos as they become available. And let's get started. So what we have here are two kits by Rust-Oleum. We have Rock Solid and Epoxy Shield. They are both one car kits. The Epoxy Shield kit will cover up to 250 square feet when applied at the recommended coverage rate. And Rock Solid will cover up to 200 or 250 square feet when applied at the recommended coverage rate. And we'll get into why there's a difference in these two numbers here in just a moment. Now the primary difference between these two coatings is that Epoxy Shield is your traditional two-part water-based epoxy coating. It has a 52% solids content. What that means is once you apply it to the concrete, 48% of it is going to evaporate out. It'll shrink uh, in the form of water, a little bit of solvents, and some alcohol. Rock Solid is a polycuramine coating. Now, polycuramine is a trademark name, and what it is is a proprietary blend of epoxy, polyurethane, and polyurea. The idea behind it was to get the best benefits of each one of those three coatings, but it doesn't really work that way. And we explain why here in just a little bit. Now, when comparing coatings, the first thing you want to do is take a look at the technical data sheets. The data sheets will give you a lot of information on the coating so you get a basic idea of how it's going to perform. And it is great for comparing coatings so you can tell how one coating is going to perform better or worse than another. Now the first thing we want to look at in the, in the data sheets is the dry film thickness. This is how thick your coating is after it cures and everything evaporates out. Epoxy Shield is between 3 and 3.5 mils thick once it has been applied and it's cured. Now as a point of reference, a sheet of paper is approximately 3 mils thick, so you get an idea of, of how thick that is. Rock Solid will get up to 3 mils thick when applied at the recommended coverage rate, so it is a thinner coating. The finish, Epoxy Shield states that they have a gloss finish. We don't agree and we will discuss that in a moment. Rock Solid has a high gloss finish and it does indeed have a high gloss finish. Pot life, that's how long you have to get the coating applied once you mix it up. Epoxy Shield's pot life is one to two hours. If it's cooler out, it'll be closer to the two hour range. If it's uh, warmer out, it'll be closer to the one hour. Rock Solid is 45 minutes to one hour. And the same thing applies with temperature. The big difference between the application of these two is that epoxy shield you can pour into a paint tray. Rock solid you have to pour out in ribbons on the floor. If you put it in a paint tray, it's going to accelerate the cure rate and you won't be able to get it applied soon enough. Cure time. Most people want to know how soon can I drive my car on the coating. Well, with the epoxy shield, you need to wait a full 36, not 36, a full three days before you can drive on the coating. Rock solid requires that you wait 24 to 36 hours before you can drive on the coating. Again, this has to do with temperatures. If it's warmer out, you can drive on it sooner. If it's cooler out, you're gonna to need to wait that full 36 hours. Recoat windows. A recoat window is how long you have to apply an additional coat, whether it be a color coat or a clear coat, before you need to do any additional prep to the surface of the, of the coating itself. 
Epoxy Shield gives you up to four days to apply it. Now, as a reference, most of your commercial uh, high quality coatings have an average of a 24 hour uh, recoat window. So Epoxy Shield is four hours. Rock Solid's even longer at seven hours. Now, you do have a minimum amount of time you have to wait before you apply a second coat or third coat, whatever it may be. And for Epoxy Shield, that's 10 to 12 hours. And for Rock Solid, it's, it's right around six hours. And the way you can determine that it's ready is just place your thumb down in the coating, give it some pressure. If it doesn't feel very tacky and doesn't leave a thumbprint, then you're ready to go for a second coat. VOC content. A lot of people want to know about VOCs these days. Epoxy Shield is a low VOC content with less than 50 uh, grams per liter of VOC in the coating itself. Rock Solid qualifies as a no VOC content coating because it has less than one gram per liter of VOC content. Uh, Neither of these coatings is UV stable. That means that if you like to open up your garage door and you have direct sunlight shining on the coatings, they will eventually what the industry calls amber. In other words, turn a yellow tint. Epoxy Shield will do it sooner than Rock Solid does, but the reason Rock Solid does it is because it still has an epoxy blend in it. Despite the fact that it also has polyurethane and polyurea, which are both UV stable. This is one example of how you're not getting the best qualities of every coating in there when you blend them all together. Now the application temps for these coatings vary as well. Epoxy Shield, you have a narrower window. It can be applied in temperatures from 60 to 85 degrees and it's important it stays within that range during the cure time as well. With Rock Solid and Polycuramine, you have a application range from 40 degrees to 90 degrees. So if you live in an area of the country where it gets cooler in the, say, the early spring or in the fall, um, you may have a better uh, chance of applying this particular coating over this one if the uh, temperature is a concern. So now that, now that we've gotten there, let's talk about the pros and cons of these two coatings. So the first one we're going to talk about here is epoxy shield. Now, one of the nice benefits of epoxy shield it, is that it is one of the least expensive garage floor coatings that you can purchase. So if you're on a budget, this is probably the product that you want to go with. Uh, epoxy shield epoxy is going to be much more durable than concrete paint or one part epoxy paint. It is definitely a better value for your money. And unlike paint, it is going to seal your concrete. So this means that if you live in an area of the country where you're concerned about water, de-icing fluids, road salts, and things like that damaging your concrete, epoxy shield is going to seal it and you're not going to have that problem. It also is very stain resistant. Well, I should say it's, it's fairly stain resistant. Uh, some chemicals such as brake fluid, some solvents, maybe even gasoline, if they're left on the coating for too long, they can discolor the coating. But they will not penetrate the coating to the concrete. So again, that's the benefit of the epoxy. Now, some of the drawbacks with epoxy shield is that it's not glossy. Even though they state right here on the box, and it says gray gloss, and it shows a nice uh, computer-generated image of a car's reflection right off the uh, surface of the coating. One of the complaints that we get, and you can read about them on a variety of sites, is that they're not happy with the gloss of the coating, despite the fact it says gloss. And so Epoxy Shield doesn't even rate the coating. They don't back it up with any specs. They just say that it's gloss. We would rate it as a semi-gloss at best, so that's something that you need to be aware of. Another one, and this is the biggest complaint about Epoxy Shield, is hot tire pickup. Now, if you're not familiar with hot tire pickup, this is when you pull your car into the garage, you pull it out later, and it pulls up a chunk of the coating with it. This happens because tires get hot when you're driving on them, and Epoxy Shield 
is not very heat tolerant compared to other coatings. So when the tire sits on top of the epoxy, it softens it ever so slightly. And then as the tire cools, it also constricts. So it gets a really good grip on the surface of the coating, similar to a suction cup on glass. That'd be a good way to describe it. And then what happens is, is when you pull the car out, if it has a good enough grip, it just pulls that coating right off the surface of the concrete. Now, again, this is a major complaint with epoxy shield. It will more often happen than not. However, if you are fortunate enough not to encounter hot tire lift, the coating itself is only going to last an average of uh, three to five years, depending on how busy of a garage that you have. What happens is, is it just tends to wear out in high traffic areas where the cars park or where there's a lot of foot traffic and stuff. So that's about the average durability of this particular coating right here. Again, that's a good two to three times longer than one part epoxy paint, but it's not uh, what we, we would call a, a high quality coating. Now, let's talk about rock solid. So the first pro or benefit that we want to talk about with rock solid is that it is an extremely glossy, good looking coating. It is right on par with some of your highest quality commercial coatings out there. It is rated at greater than 95 when measured at 60 degrees with the gloss meter and they state that in their data sheets and, and it is indeed a very good looking coating. Just like epoxy shield, it seals your concrete so it's going to protect it from de-icing fluids, uh, road salts, and things like that. It is very stain resistant. It's much more stain resistant than epoxy shield is, as a, as a matter of fact. So you have less chances of uh, possible discoloration and things like that with stronger solvents and chemicals. And a great abrasion rating. Like we said earlier, it's on par with the high solids commercial epoxy. And lastly, there are very few complaints of hot tire pickup. And there are a couple reasons for this. One is that polycuramine actually penetrates concrete very well. So it attains a very tenacious bond, better than what epoxy shield does. And the other reason is that it has a higher heat tolerance than epoxy shield. So the Polycuramine itself doesn't really soften under the car tire, so it can't get as good of a grip. And you combine that with how well it adheres to properly prepared concrete, and hot tire pickup is almost non-existent. We're not saying it doesn't happen, um, but when it does, it generally has to do with poor concrete prep and less to do with the actual coating itself. So we can say without a doubt that Rock Solid is indeed the better performing coating than Epoxy Shield. It will last longer and it looks better and it is more stain resistant. Now that said, there are a few things you need to be aware of. There's some big drawbacks and some complaints that we want to let you know about. The first one is, is how expensive it is. It's really gone up in price in the last two or three years. Now when we went out and bought this the other day, Rock Solid was a full $105 more for this kit versus this one. So that's something to consider. In addition, there are much better single part polyurea garage floor coating kits. And these are commercial quality kits that are twice as thick as Rock Solid that you can buy just a single color coat, just like Rock Solid itself for less money and the same coverage rates. So that is something to consider. Now we have a variety of links down below to some articles and one of them will link you to that if you're curious. Um, so that is something to consider with Rock Solid. Now there are two main complaints and they're kind of interrelated. And the first one is that they don't provide you with enough material for the coverage rates that they state. Rock Solid in their single car kit gives you 90 fluid ounces of material total Epoxy Shield gives you 120, so that's a 30 ounce difference right there. And when people are applying it, they're looking at the instructions going, well, should I be 200 or 250 square feet? And most people assume, well, I'm going to go to the 250 square feet because I want to try and save some money. 
The problem with that is that because polycuramine penetrates concrete well, and if you don't know how porous your concrete is, or you haven't really done this before and you don't have experience with it, most people have a tendency to apply it over a coverage rate that is too high. And what happens is it gets too thin. So if you're trying to go for that 250 square feet on bare concrete, the coating goes down thin. Now what happens, and this is the second complaint, is that it looks dull. It isn't glossy. The color isn't rich, solid, and full. In fact, sometimes you can see the concrete color kind of bleeding up through it. And we feel that rock solid has these overly generous coverage rate simply to try and keep costs down in order to compete with other DIY products that you find in your home improvement centers. So you can fix the issue by just applying another color coat. It looks beautiful after you do that. The first coat acts as like a primer coat. The problem with that though, is you have now doubled the expense of your color coat and you probably weren't planning on that. So that is a big problem with rock solid. We recommend that unless you have extremely smooth bare concrete, that you do not exceed 200 square feet for your coverage rate per burst pouch, okay? Because if you go any further than that, chances are it's going to look a little too thin and you're going to have those cosmetic issues. Now, we did say that both of these coatings, we were going to give you some tips on what you can do to extend the life of the coatings as well as the durability. And that is to apply the optional clear coat. Epoxy Shield actually has a 100% solids clear epoxy that performs better than the color coat itself. So if you apply that to the color coat, you're gonna have much less chance of getting hot tire pickup, you're gonna have better stain resistance, and it has a glossier finish. So you're gonna get some of that gloss back that you didn't get with the color coat. With Rock Solid, something to keep in mind is that the clear coat isn't doesn't look quite as glossy as the color coat so when you put the clear coat on it will actually tone down the gloss a little bit but it is still extremely glossy and by doing this putting a clear coat on both you're going to protect the color flakes and you're going to extend the life of the coating that's why we always recommend applying a clear coat if you can now we did say we're going to tell you where you can purchase these products for the best price and we did our own price checking and Amazon has the best prices. Epoxy Shield runs anywhere from five to $15 less depending on the color that you want with Epoxy Shield. Rock Solid on the other hand, and we don't know why this is, runs anywhere from 60 to $90 less on Amazon than it does at your home improvement centers. So we have links to that down below where you can check the pricing for yourself. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or better yet, visit us on our website, allgaragefloors.com. We're always answering questions on our site and helping our uh, readers solve problems. And please don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below. That way you'll get updated with new videos as we put them out. And thanks for watching.